Hi guys, lovely day today, 21 degrees, very balmy 21 degrees. End of March, lovely. Just out on a little exercise walk, very short walk, I mean walking on the hill. Did a video from here last year, which I'll link below. I just a little uh, walk along a little old trackway and then back up to the village itself. Um, getting a bit of vitamin D, which is lovely, sun's coming through. Hope you're all well. Let's crack on with the video. So many farms around here and studs, obviously because uh, Epsom Racecourse is very, very nearby. Very popular and famous for its uh, racing. I think one of the first in the world, actually. And um, the smell of manure. Oh, I love it. You can really feel it in the country, although you're only, we're, not, we're still within the M25, because you'll hear that constantly in the background. We're just walking along Ebersham Lane at the moment. Now we've done this walk before, um, but I've not filmed this little bit. I filmed other routes around the village. So yeah. Emersham Lane. You can get back to walking on the hill via a trackway behind the estate. Um, I think it's the only day we're going to get 21 degrees. I think it's 18 degrees tomorrow. But spring's nearly here, so the weather's all going to warm up permanently. Which is lovely. Now, before, this is Hurst Road. Now, before we would have gone down there, and that leads you right back down to the race course which I, was a previous video I did about three years ago. But this one, we're going down an old trackway, past some studs, along a bit, and then back up. A little house, look at that. Well, you see the uh, M25 in the distance, just beyond that sand pit, which I think they use for cross biking. And the village of, village of Headley is also uh, that way as well which we've done videos from before. Bought a bike at the end of last year and I still haven't really used it. I really should. Um, oh, look at that. What lovely scenery. <laughs> oh, very cool. I don't know why, I always like this little spot. You can probably see London. Uh, it's a bit misty over there. Um, yeah, it's nice. Okay, we're going down this little trackway here. It's actually not as overgrown as it was last time I was here, which was about, I think about two years ago, a year and a half ago. Well, we go past all these studs. I say up some race courses not far and obviously the holes we've just seen <laughs> studs everywhere great this is my first sort of walk I've done since probably September last year which is almost six months ago because of this ridiculous lockdown um, yeah, that was along the Wandle Trail, my friend Nigel. But now we're opening up again this week, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, until they move the goalpost again. I'm sure like a lot of people, God, I'm so eager to travel again. Oh, should have worn my shorts. Warm the cut offs, it's really warm. It's at 21 degrees today, and like Friday, I think it's back down to sort of 11 12 degrees. Get old British weather. Luckily, we have very mild winters. Thank you, Gulfstream. That's mild winters in the south of England, I should say. As I say, they've cut all this back. This is quite overgrown like a little cathedral of trees you walked along. Um, but they've cut it all back, it's all open. It's actually nicer. I mean, I, I do like trees though. 
but it's actually quite nice. Um, sorry, I say earlier you can hear the rumble of the M25. Uh, for our foreign viewers, the M25 is the ring road that goes around London. It's the largest ring road in the world. It's got the largest car park in the world, normally. People in England know what I mean by that. You may have noticed that I've dispensed with the title sequence at the beginning of the videos. No, it was only short. I'm just going straight into the videos now. Let me know how, how that works for you. I think it's good just to get straight into the video. Um, this is nice. Funny enough, when you've been sort of, I wouldn't say locked up, but indoors for so long, it's actually quite hard sometimes to push yourself to go out. I saw a survey recently that 50% of people are going to miss some of the lockdown um, benefits. And I sort of see what they mean. I sort of see what they mean. You know, I think a lot of people got very lazy. You know. Right, we're going down here. Oh, I see, yeah. I'm going to turn off in a minute. Nice walking on these paths. People are so friendly just to let a cyclist pass. Oh, good morning, how are you doing? All right, yeah, well, yeah. Very nice. You wouldn't get that walking along the street. Well, sometimes you do, but not very often. Just stopped to have a chat with this guy who's riding his bike along here on the trackway. Really nice. As I said, just now people are so friendly when you're out walking. Um, so yeah, there's the M25 in the background, you can probably see that. Um, not quite sure what they're doing with that chalk pit. So I know they used to do BMX um, racing on there back in the day, but... Uh, right, here we go. Bit of a climb up now. Let's get the old heart pumping. As you can see, the, that's the pathway in the distance we just came through. I'm now walking back up here. As I said on the video from last year, all on the hill, the area is very, very ancient. There's a Roman villa, there's burial mounds, enclosures. I'm gonna show you the enclosures on another video. They're medieval. Medieval enclosures. But yeah, it's a very ancient site, as well as anywhere around the North Downs, where ancient man originally came across from Europe. <sighs> Lovely bird song in the background. Oh, got the heart going, going uphill. When you're having to walk uphill for about a year, it's not very steep, but you're still going up at a gradient. It's lovely. Blossoms coming through on the trees. Spring is here. There we have it. Back up to the top now, into the village. But before we go, I want to re-show you something that absolutely fascinated me when I saw it last year in the church. I'm doing a new little bit from there. Just come with me to the church a second. And here's a mock castle. They thought it was Neolithic. Actually, it's a mocked Bailey castle from the sort of 12th century. Not much to see anymore though. Lovely church, built in 1268, and then remodelled in 1828 during the Victorian era. Very ancient site, as I said, around here. But what I want to show you again, is just around the back of the church, hidden away a little bit, actually. It's this.
tomb to the chap who founded the church here in 1268. There you go. The inscription reads, here lies John D. Waltone, W-A-L-T-O-N-E, the old spelling, Waltone, founder of this church in the year of our Lord, 1268. I don't know any other church has the founder of the church buried somewhere quite prominent within the church grounds. Does anyone know of, of any more? I find this quite unique. I could be completely wrong. I'm not a church expert. But, um, yeah. John D. Waltone, here he is. And absolutely fascinating. So there you go guys. Thank you very much for watching the video and joining me on this little trek around some of the little trapways around Walton on the Hill or Waltone on the Hill if you want the original spelling. If you like the video or have any answers to some of the questions I've asked uh, please leave a comment below but please like, subscribe. I really appreciate you watching the videos. And until next time, and from this gloriously sunny day at the end of March in southern England, we'll see ya. Take care.